my first ambition is to become one of the best chefs in Ghana and then Africa. After, I would like to build a commercial kitchen to produce fresh meals and preserve ingredients and food through canning and bottling and pickling. Rafiat Yusuf is my name. I'm 33 years old and the first of six children. My father is a Muslim from Boko but lives and was born in Abilinki. My mother is a girl from Osu. Sadly, she is no longer with us. She passed away at the young age of 33. In February 2005, I had the opportunity to travel to the United States. Whilst there, I got a job as a live-in domestic housekeeper for a family of five. They were Ghanaians. The couple both worked at the World Bank and they had three children. I was their employee for about five years and it was a very good experience for me because I was constantly changing the menu from local dishes to continental because they often entertain guests. Whilst I was working with the family, I was able to undertake some part-time courses as well. I studied with the art instruction schools in Minneapolis and then with Penn Foster Career School, now the culinary school of Pennsylvania. I also studied the art of Chinese cookery with the late John Shi Kaduchi, author and owner of the Chinese Cookery Inc. I am now the head chef of La Brasserie by Wood, a restaurant inside the Alliance Francaise premises. I manage the kitchen and all the meals that we provide. I'm happily married to Osman Lavaran, who is a trader, and together we have three handsome and troublesome boys. Having these children in itself is a miracle, because when I found out that I was pregnant with my first son, Mohammed, I had just come to Ghana from America on holidays, and I had every intention of going back to further my education. I had to make a decision to stay in Ghana and to start a family or not. And I guess we all know the decision I took and I must admit I have not regretted it. Life is never easy and I've had my fair share of struggles. That by God's grace, I have overcome and some I'm still overcoming. When my mother passed away, my grandmother stepped in to take care of us. She became our mother and so there was a sort of continuity in the life of my siblings and me. However, that peace and calm was shattered when my grandmother passed away two years ago and she left a big void. It hurts knowing that you will never see a loved one ever again in the flesh, but God knows best. Years passed by and through prayers, I am consoled. We've managed to cope with her absence and we are all grown up now, so that helps. I am a very open-minded person and I would like to think I'm humble as well. Besides cooking, I really enjoy sculpting and carving. I did it as a subject when I was in the senior high school and it's something that has become a hobby. Though I admit I hardly have time to do it anymore with my heavy workload at work and at home. It's not easy being a working mother. I also like helping others who are less privileged financially and emotionally. I believe that is something that we can all try to do more often as people because I believe in the saying, love thy neighbor as thyself. I chose to be part of the Fright for Enriching Lives competition because I want to empower women in the hospitality industry. So they realized that being a mother or a wife should not limit you from aiming to be the best that you can be and even going as far as to becoming an executive chef. Also, it's been a desire of mine to show people, especially Ghanaian women, that it's not always true that you can only achieve your dream in life by traveling out of Ghana. My name is Rafia T. Yusuf and I'm going to become the first writer on Reaching Life champion and show that I can make it in Ghana.